Hello everybody and welcome back to season 36 of the Pokemon Cup series. We're here at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the running of the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. After a thrilling first race in the Daytona 500, we're ready to go for our second race here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And it's a much smaller track than Daytona, but it's going to be a lot fun. It's going to be a challenging one for our drivers here today. On the pole for this race, we have the double zero of Christian Vargas, and on his outside will be the 96 of Giovanni Castillo. And then in row two, we have Anthony then in the 37, and in the 38, we have um, Carter Friesen. And in row three, we have Zachary Delello and Robert Smith, and then followed by Tommy Highsmith and Lauren Martinez in row four. And J.D. Jones and Alexander Rowe round out your top 10 in the starting lineup. And we go through the rest of the field here. Let's look at where our winner from Daytona will be starting at. The 22 of Max Ferrer as he is starting in the back of the pack right here um, at Atlanta. He won was, of course, the Daytona 500 winner last weekend. And uh, you'll notice a lot of these drivers have different paint schemes. I'm going to show you... Um, here are all the paint schemes that um are that they're going to be running here in today's race. We'll try to give the we'll try to give each driver different paint schemes um throughout the um season just to make things a little bit more interesting in each and every race. So now we go trackside for the command, but um unfortunately though the sound um got messed up in this while I was recording this, so that's why yeah I had to record over this because. The sound got messed up while I was um, doing the race, um, doing it from o OBS. Uh, that's the software I use to record these races, just so you know. But um, the audio unfortunately messed up, so you won't be hearing any car audio or track audio or any kind of audio from the game itself here in this race. The only audio you'll hear is my voice talking over it anyway. But once again, I do apologize for the lack of in-game audio in this race, but... Again, it, it was a technical problem, so nothing else I could do. Anyway, we'll have the first stage end after the 8th lap, and the 16th lap after the 16th lap, we will have this end of second stage, and the final stage, of course, the final 16 lap showdown to the finish. Here we go. Green flag is in the air in the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. And one car got off on the wrong foot to start off the race. That's the, not, the 32 of Roger Ray. Roger Ray with some problem with a very slow start um, in this uh, already. Well, on the re well, the start of the race, not so good for him. Oh boy, cars are in the wall. This is not going to end well. Cars are in the wall right now, smacking the wall, hoping to avoid the carnage. Oh boy, these guys are going to get mixed up. This is going to be this is going to end pretty ugly. And look at this, Anthony then just took the lead. And Delello's up to the second position. There you see a tight battle back there. But Anthony then takes the lead over the 42 of Zachary Delello. And Vargas is going to try to go for second place right here. Ooh, a little bump and run there. And three wide behind them as they're trying to avoid that wall. So a lot of these drivers hit the wall in the very first lap. Going really fast. <laughs> Probably faster than how they should be running in realistically at um Atlanta but who's counting anyway there's then taking the set there's then pulling away from Delello as he's now Delello's in the second Ooh, Tommy Highsmith in third place is Vargas little nudge there but the 88 is still third oh we got a big crash and I entering turn one we got a huge crash and that'll definitely bring out the caution here they come, they'll race back to the line, and Anthony then is going to lead to the yellow, and there you see the smoke from the wreck in turn one, and let's take a look at what happened exactly. It was a mess. Yeah, let's see where it began. Oh, it looked like it, it began with the two car of Matthew Mdev into the wall and getting contact with Giovanni Castillo. I believe Ben Goldman in the eight car made contact as well, one other car also hit i think that's the 24 of alex hawkins if i'm not mistaken that was hit and then a lot of drivers got hit as well huge huge crash in the to bring out our first caution of the race 
And just before stage one ends, everybody is coming down to pit road. Obviously, with all the uh, debris that they've they've accumulated from that crash, racing back, they might want to take new tires and fuel, and maybe clear out the debris they have in their cars. And look at who's and look who came out first. Looks like J.D. Jones might have come out first. Kind of weird and unusual, but well, I guess pit strategy worked. No wait, Tommy Highsmith came out first. My bad. It was Tommy Highsmith that came out first off pit road so he's actually going to win stage one there you see the top 10 on your screen i'm not going to go through every name but tommy highsmith is going to be your stage one winner thanks to his thanks to the pit crew he was able to get the lead coming back to the green flag and win stage one he'll get 10 bonus points and a playoff point if he does make the playoffs All right now the only one in the playoffs now is of course our last week's winner None other than Max Ferrer, who won at Daytona, of course, last weekend, the opener race. Now let's see who will join him in the um, race for the playoffs. Here we go back to green flag. Tommy Highsmith in the lead, and he got a good jump. Battle for third place. It looks like Colin Francis goes down low. Going to take the pass on Vargas. And there he goes. Francis in third place. And there you see... The 37 of Anthony then going for third as well. Tight battle behind them as Chase Dunbar is in the top five. And then just took third place. Then was the one that led to the yellow flag and I'm sure he's hungry to get back in, in front. Sorry, I thought I saw something, but never mind. But anyway, Tommy Highsmith is still leading the race. There's your top five, and three of them are actually rookies. So it's, no, wait, four of them, I should say, are actually rookies. So they're really showing um, what the, pro, what they're showing the pros right now, what they've got in this series. And here comes then, going for second against J.D. Jones. And the 37 is going to get the pass, and France is going to follow him behind him in the draft. And Jones is dropping. J.D. Jones dropped three positions in one turn. Might have gotten a bad run on that corner. And he is now down to fifth. And here comes Francis for second place. Trying to look in, but he can't quite seal the deal. And look at Tommy Highsmith go high. Here comes then. This is for the lead. Then tr look at that. Highsmith trying to nudge then out of the way. And 37 is still going to try to get the bottom lane. He makes the pass. And Anthony then is your new leader. Wow. Look like those two were at it. And it was not, not even halfway through the race yet. And Highsmith is down. He's in, the, he's in the wall. Highsmith goes up up on the wall. Yikes. Tommy Highsmith. He was fighting with Dent for the lead. Oh, Dunbar getting right into Francis. And he makes the move work. But Highsmith went up in the wall dropping way back. Um, he tried to get that um, run away, tried to, get the, uh, tried to block the 37, but man, that 37, he showed what he's got. He made a veteran move there to take the lead. Zach Fitzwater, J.D. Jones, Tommy Highsmith, there's Highsmith there battling for a position. Trying to stay in the top 10 now with um, the 34 of O'Neill Balvin. And now battling with Nick Salmon as he continues to drop out. So not a good run for Highsmith. After being in the trying to compete for the lead at one point. There you see the four of Zach Fitzwater in the top five. Excuse me. Anyway, here comes Francis. This is for second spot. Gonna go down low, and I believe this will be the last lap of stage two. Big points coming big points on the line here. And the one car gets second place. But Anthony then, I believe, is going to win stage two. And now we're halfway through the race. There's this, And there's your top ten. Um, all getting the stage points from stage two in Atlanta. Anthony then, though, will get the ten bonus points. And the one playoff point that will be added um, later on. And there you see the slower cars that were involved in the wreck earlier earlier in the race. Um, 
We've only had one caution so far, so very surprising. That was a big crash, though. It took out like a quarter of the field. And there's Cullen Francis looking to close in on the 37 car. Two seasons ago, he was a champion. Uh, and he also won the regular season title, I believe, three seasons ago. So these, he's actually a very tough driver in that one car machine. So he's trying to prove what he's got. Wait, never mind. He was last. Well, he was uh, two seasons ago. He was the champion, and last and uh, no, three seasons he was champion. Two seasons ago, he was the regular season champion. That's what I was trying to say. There's Anthony then in the lead still. That 37 team from JTG has done really well um, in these in races like these. They actually won a handful of races with Evan Hunter, who who drove the 37 before then came along. So now Anthony then could be a win in his only his second career start, and he might have to beat a former champion to do it. Wouldn't that be surprising? But Francis, though, every lap he is gaining on the 37, he is trying to make the move and close the deal. Francis, he is a former champion, so he's proving what he has, and he is showing the rookies his moves. Just about 10 laps to go in Atlanta. Anthony then in front. Trying to hold off the one car. I think lap traffic up ahead. I, do, I think I saw a lap car in the picture now. Will that play a factor in the um, who wins this race? There's third place Chase Dunbar hoping for something to go his way. There is lap traffic. That's Philip Goldberg in the 95 with a damaged hood. But he's going to come to pit road, though. And I believe Dunbar is coming to pit. So we're going to have our second set of pit stops here under green flag conditions. So we'll see how that will play out. We'll see how the pit strategy will go down for these guys. So um, now pit stops are important. Looks like they'll decide pretty much who wins this race. Here comes then, and here comes Francis, the top two drivers on the pit road. We saw a handful of cars pit the last lap. How will this play a factor in, in the race? Well, we're only one way to find out. Looks like one half of the field left pitted, and the other half decided to stay another lap. So, interesting. Handful of cars out. I see Chase Dunbar is out. Grayson Acevedo is out. How about him? catapulting up and now Dunbar and Acevedo gonna battle off pit road oh look at this Acevedo had the better exit he's gonna go after Dunbar look like the 48 had the better exit off pit road than the 6 did this might be for the lead and here comes Acevedo down low for the race lead and he took it away from Dunbar wow he just Blew by the six car off turn one, but the cars are coming off. It looks like Colin Francis will be your leader. And I believe Acevedo is going to be in third place. Oh no, 34 is in the wall. Carter O'Neill Balvin got a little bit of the wall, but he's still running. Oh wait, Acevedo's second, third place. Yeah, he is third, so he does get to third. Big lead for Colin Francis, though. His strategy worked to his advantage. Now trying to pull ahead of Anthony then and Grace Acevedo. So we'll see how this race will go down. Acevedo, though, pitted a lap later, um, a lap earlier than Anthony then. And now Francis is down. He's in the wall and then just took the lead. Colin Francis might have hit the wall or might have been a tire going down as the leader. And Anthony then just took the lead. What a turn of events. I think Francis hit the wall as the leader and he got really slow in the exit. And that allowed the 37 to take the lead. Oh my goodness. And J.D. Jones just took second from Grayson Acevedo as they're dealing with lap traffic. Oh my goodness. It looked like Colin Francis was going to win this race. And then he hit the wall and all of a sudden... Anthony then, it all comes back full circle as he takes the lead. The 37 has been the most dominating team of this race, so it's no surprise 
they came full circle and with five laps to go they're in front there's jd jones in second place he has to get by castillo the lap car to have a shot at that 37 oh man what a stunning turn of events zach fitz i mean colin francis i mean hit that wall as the leader had a problem and he couldn't get back up to speed to take the to uh keep his lead i don't i guess we'll never know what what happened to francis on that corner might have hit the wall or might have had something go down or might have just taken the exit wrong might have had the corner exit wrong probably but three more laps around here at atlanta for anthony then led the most laps i believe of any driver and he's hoping to pull away and collect his first career win and only his second start of his of his of the series jd jones also rookie also looking for that first win we got rookies in the top two something that was probably unheard of uh, rarely heard of in all of Enter Town 3, but here they are. Two laps to go for Anthony then. This team was a dominant team with when Evan Hunter was on the at the wheel. Now we'll see if Anthony then could lead them to more victories down the line. This might be a start of something great. But here we go, coming to the white flag with one more lap around for Anthony then. One to go at Atlanta. More lap cars ahead, but I'm not sure if they're going to catch him in time. And how will they? I'm not sure how they'll play a factor in the 37's um, rate, rate, way to victory. They're going to catch up to him, but Anthony then is going to come off the final turn and hold them off, and he'll win the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500 at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So Anthony then is among the many drivers to collect a win. A win in the pokemon cup series so first it was max ferrer and now it is anthony then the second driver and rookie to lock his spot in to the playoffs for season 36 of the pokemon cup series there he is he's going to be rolling in that dough um after at victory lane for sure but anyway hope you enjoy this race um great weekend from atlanta overall i'd say Anyway, before we get to our next race in Vegas, here, here are the results from Atlanta. As you can see here, only a handful of cars finished on the lead lap thanks to the messing, to the mess we had on Pitt Road and the big crash we had earlier in the race. But anyway, hope you enjoyed Atlanta. Um, we'll see you guys next time at Las Vegas.